Hello fellow skippers, we're gonna try to make this effect today. First we're gonna start by creating a text and I choose this font with these parameters. When I go to the fill and stroke dialog to choose a gradient as a fill. I will start by adding the stops colors. The second one. Oh, I forgot. It's the other way around. I will choose a, a bright pink. Oh, I also forgot it's a um, it's a radial gradient. Okay, I'm gonna place it this way. Then I'm gonna go to the stroke paint, choose white, pure white. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I will choose this width for the line of the stroke. Then we're gonna go to the filters dialog. If it's not open, you can open it via this menu. We will start by adding first the Gaussian blur. We will um, uncheck this one and only modify the last one. Then we're gonna add a turbulence with these parameters. Then we're gonna add a displacement map and link it to the Gaussian blur we will choose red uh, for the X displacement and green for the Y displacement we'll add another Gaussian blur Give it this value. Don't worry, it will be modified after. Then we're going to add a composite filter with a over as option in the menu. Then we're going to link it to the displacement map to give it this effect. Then we're gonna add a color matrix. We will clean these values, default values, to modify it as we wish with our values. Minus one, minus one, minus one. This is how we want it. Then we're gonna add another another Gaussian blur. We're gonna link it to the composite. Add uh, this value. Then 
add another two rules. In this one, we're gonna choose fractal noise, uh, give it this value. Then the others in detail three. We're gonna add another displacement map. Links the first to the composite. Then scale it as this. Then I choose the Y value as a green. We're going to add another composite. As you can see, the effect is showing up. We're going to connect this value to the turbulence. We'll choose out. We'll add another composite. And choose arithmetic and give it these values. We're going to add another composite. And link it to the Gaussian blur. We will modify this to lighter. And this is it. We will need to tweak a little bit to show the desired effect we want. Then we're gonna decrease the width, the stroke, and choose this blue to show, to, in, to decrease the brightness, it's a lot. You can choose other colors as you wish. It's very handy as effect. And the final touch we're gonna test text. You can also modify the gradient as you wish to change to change its look. And voilà, enjoy.